My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Valley, New Jersey, and I'm recording. There's actually a lot of me what need to record on here. I'm probably just not going to do it. Um, I'm going to do another video um, or, uh, pointing out the same point. Um, this is a thing. <laughs> Ever since I've been in this church, there has been one main problem. Throughout their teachings, they have always tried to lord it over any wisdom, knowledge, and of, uh, uh, an understanding of God, or lord it over the person who is anointed by God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? Instead of being equal, because they can't, because they're not of God. Okay? So, the thing is, is that... <laughs> There's a there's there's another big problem because what is going on with um these people who are persecute persecuting me for years this um William Clay here okay and uh, Frank Apollo and I, and I'm sure it's it's the egotistical narcissism that is through all these false ministers throughout the nation throughout the world um is that every time. I share the knowledge of God. Sanctifying knowledge. They try to own it and play the Lord over the knowledge of God. Which is the same thing as them basically, well, trying to exalt themselves above God. These people don't know God. Now, he's going to be claiming uh, knowledge of the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to record a section here where... Um, he makes up these false ideas about Paul. All these churches have basically falsely misinterpreted Paul. I've been correcting them for a number of years. The thing is, I don't exalt myself above Paul. That's the difference between me and these false ministers. Now, the thing is, is, you know, Paul persecuted the church. I didn't persecute the church. But God anointed him for a purpose because... For many reasons. I mean, it's evident that it was a forgiving grace of the message that is of Paul. Okay? It is amazing. These people, they pervert grace. Okay? They persecute me and then claim they're of mercy and grace. That's like a completely <laughs> distortion. And then they condemn the Ten Commandments. And basically make up these false rules and claim these false rules are of Jesus while they distort our Bible. Now, the thing is, you're not going to be condemned or you are not accounted for as an unbeliever and not of faith because you do not know what's in the Bible or have ever heard of Jesus Christ. This is not the message of Christianity, of the coming from Jesus Christ or the prophets, okay, or that which comes, well, it all comes from God through anyone, no matter what service they do, okay? The thing is, is... um. He's he's teaching from a forged false Bible. Um, I don't know. I guess this is his own false opinionated commentary or something like that. Um, so uh, I mean, this it, it, it has some somewhat of a good point, but I don't think I'm going to get into that. But this is what I'm going to point out. First of all, when he's speaking and everything that he's speaking, he presents himself as addressing these people of the very thing that is actually exposing him while he's speaking it. Now, they have played these games because the thing is, is I've actually, well, started out very um, submissively, okay? Then it turned into just like a rebuking, okay, harshly, because, you know, what they have done is just like unbelievable. Are they unforgiven? I'm not even going to make that the, the subject of the, 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 this discussion right now. But um, for this person right here, um, according to scripture, uh, he is of the unforgiven. So um, the thing is, he's, 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 he, he's speaking, he's presenting to speak against his attitude. Now, we all have attitude. You know, so, I'm, you know, when you say that, it's just like attitude. Now, he's going to pretend he's speaking against other people, but he has this a carnal attitude, if you will, um, that is so narcissistic, narcissistic um, or whatever. The thing is, he mimics a lot of people. It's not of Christianity, if you ever see that. Um, don't account that for being one of a minister of God. Now, we all share different things, and, you know, obviously, 
you know, there, there's there's things that you know we share from each other. We speak the same language. We, you know, uh, do many of the same things. We all eat breakfast. We all eat lunch and dinner, right? So you know, um, but there's these things where they they like to copy like people's body gestures. I'm not talking about shared like you know you just react in the same emotional responses, which is natural. But they artificially try to do the plan and, and puppet out this. Um, this copying other people, uh, it's, it's really, really disturbing. I don't know. But anyway, I don't know if that's going to pick up in here, but I'm just going to record this real quick. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to explain more on it or whatever, but okay. I'm just going to play it. Okay with it. They're not, he likes to, oh, let me explain this real quick. He likes to do this thing where he likes to mock people a lot, okay? He's a spoiled brat, white privileged, um, uninsightful, false Christian, okay? And he's trying to uh, present this um, thing, you know, that, you know, he knows about the Holy Spirit. He's been slandering the Holy Spirit for years. Besides the fact that he thinks he's making a point by presenting false ideas that people claim of the Holy Spirit, which is something he does, um, to mock somebody who, okay, I'm going to go on. So, um, yeah, like he'll sit there and say, oh yeah, well the Holy Spirit like moved me to answer this text and write this text type deal. Uh, that's a display that he puts on there and you know, it's, um, it's superficial. He's doing it deliberately, uh, falsely. I, we don't deceive people. That's the whole thing that they don't get. Like, I mean, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. His, his so-called method is just sin. Okay? It's kind of like people performing lobotomies calling it, you know, like, science and, like, a cure. You know, for... Well, actually, that was performed on a lot of people under a persecution stealth or whatever to well rip out the brain of people who have emotions and uh basically uh christian but most of all they were uh falsely claiming it was a cure for basically a mental disease and things like that or whatever i mean people know some of the basics or whatever but the thing is is um yeah it was just a stealth just to sit there and basically silence a lot of um people so you know there's actually um interesting an interesting I'm sorry an interesting story um by uh I, I can't remember the name um I think there's a book I think it's called like or a film or something called like hand at my table or something like that a woman who almost got a lobotomy she was put away by well ignorant people who when she questioned things or whatever she I think she was like a professor or something or a teacher or something like that and almost got a lobotomy. Oh, and then all of a sudden, oh, they freed her from a lobotomy um, because nobody could hear her the whole time as she's, like, locked up in the institution because of somebody else's lies. They practice these same evils still continuously to this day. This is the mentality of these psychopaths of this cult and a lot of churches. Okay, if you're not conforming or in agreement to their leaders, you are automatically deemed as mentally ill. So, they're, they're trying to cover all that up. She's, she's trying to cover up a psychopathy, you know, like all the other preachers sitting there going around claiming relationship and love and God and all these other things or whatever. Not of the love of God, but um, the thing is, is that, um, you know, pretending to have a relationship um, with God and people and ranting off about how it's all about relationship by they're lying and deceiving people. So... Um, he did copy my words, by the way, stolen from me, because I got sick of terror him, hearing him saying relationship over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now I repeat my words throughout years or whatever, because I'm basically continuously repeating the same thing that they're repeating of me and then speaking against me and trying to cover up their own evils. But, see, like I just repeated that. <laughs> It's exhausting, it's tiring, but, um, my whole thing is, it's like, I made a statement and said, you know, uh, we are all in relationship. Um, I should do a video on relationship, because this guy actually does not know about relationship, as he's basically just, you know, uh, echoing these trends or what have you. I don't know what his point is about relationship, 
I don't know. Is he lonely? I mean, to a point, um, a lot of people in this world are lonely, you know. Um, I am many times, not all the time, you know, whatever. So, um, I have God. And, uh, but people do need people. God even said that. So, anyway, I'm going to go on. I'm just going to record this. Worried about losing their salvation. They're See? not worried about... He's doing that on purpose. That's what I was doing. Like, do that in my videos. Um, and I have to make a point to do that because, like, they they attacked one of my videos when I did do that. And then the my my coding was, like, below was in my conversation. And they basically was doing it literally. And they were, like, playing on these things. It was unbelievable. They actually edited Splice and Hacked my video on that and many other videos. But, um... So, um, because I was sitting there and say religions or whatever, and it was in one scene of my video that they didn't get, but it was in, in others, and then they took that all out of context and basically claimed that I was calling all these uh, societies that I'm claiming is not a religion, a religion, which I was not, so, um, and other things or whatever, so it gets very exhausting. So, this is, he did this in another video a couple of weeks ago, and he's doing it again. Uh, point, I do not know, so I'm going to go on. Going to hell, they're not worried about God punishing them. This is a thing. People who do not believe in God and heaven and hell are not going to be concerned about whether they're going to hell or God punishing them. Let me rewind that for a little bit. So that's the whole thing. Um, and they'll continue to do evil. Now the thing is, we do not do things based on whether we go to heaven or hell or not. That's not the point. Um, that's ridiculous. And I've heard that in debates in regards with, oh, you, you know, because a lot of people claiming to be Christian who are not, they're like, oh, if you, you don't, you don't claim you believe in Jesus or whatever. They don't say you claim this. So let me do it the way from their expression. If you don't believe in Jesus and God, uh, you're going to hell or whatever. And then they put up these, uh, what is, has been circulated about as fire insurance or whatever, which is, is true. Um, that he claimed God or, you know, just believe, you know, so you don't go to hell type deal or whatever. And this is an issue I've been dealing with atheists. They're taking from my, um, teachings in regards to uh with atheism atheists or whatever and it's just like you cannot believe actually in god it's not a real this is what i tell you this it's not a real belief if you claim god so you won't go to hell that's not what it is to believe in god so a lot of people churchians are presenting it this way okay um and, like, you know, wouldn't you rather, like, you know, you know, claim to believe in God even if you don't, so you don't go to hell? And it's just like, oh, this has actually happened. And this is throughout this country and other countries internationally. Mostly a majority of them from other countries. So this is, they're expressing what actually was done to them. So it's really, really sad. Um, they're not teaching the things of God. So, um... It, it was done by false teachers. Obviously, we're, we're not. I do. We do not teach that. We're, that's not. That's not a belief in God. Okay. Like you. You believe in the righteousness of God because it gives life to other people. Okay. Now I'll sit there and say, yeah, you're going to go to hell if you're continuously practicing like evil, wicked ways or what have you. Okay. Um. So. The thing is, is, the thing is, and I also teach, and my, you're sitting there, you don't believe in hell, you're bringing hell on earth. You know, it's like, you're either going to pull from the things of the righteousness that comes from good, which is things of heaven, or you're pulling on things of evil that comes from hell. Don't believe in heaven and hell. I don't care. Okay, but they are responsible for basically destroying society for practicing evil. Now, the thing is, I basically am told I am evil for speaking against evil. And, of course, I made it the harshest, harshest evil while I am basically being oppressed and persecuted by torturous, most evil that comes from hell. They, they just serve hell. That's what they do. Okay. And the thing is, it's like a lot of people are very self-centered. So they mentioned it in here or whatever, pretending they spoke against being self-centered when they taught it for, like, I don't even know how long this pastor taught to be self-centered. 
okay? So I'm like, be Christ-centered. So now they're, they're saying other-centered because I'm basically, oh, yes, always concerned about everybody else. Yes, that's right. I have no apologies for that. To reveal to us who we are, no one arrives. Arrives people where? People in this integration phase of development are all... Arrives where? Or to seek the kingdom of God. True ministers speak from the kingdom of God. That is what it is to be born again. Arrives where? I don't know what he's saying about this. Um, so, um, arrives, what, being perfect and sinless? Um, look. He doesn't speak from the kingdom of God. He steals things from either me, maybe other people. Or most of the things he gets from, I don't even know where he's getting them from. Um, or his own little delusion resources from Satan or whatever. Um, he's not speaking of the kingdom of God. I'm not saying everything that I say is from the kingdom of God. I'm going to say that I, I've said things that are not of the kingdom of God. Many people will think that a lot of things I've said, since it's so harsh and like piercing, that it's not from the, you know, not from the things of God, which it is. <laughs> but, um, um, yes, I do magnify things and look, make things look as ugly as they really are when people think it's a no big deal. And, um, so especially when they're just like blowing things off or whatever, I'm going to dig deep and just like pierce them with it. So, that, yes, I do that. So. Always open to the next piece of the puzzle, puzzle God's going to give to them. They're always open to the next thing that God tells them they need to repent of. See, they're so okay with who they are in this process of God that they integrate all of it. They just, they bring it all into one. And they're okay with it. They're not worried about losing their salvation. They're not worried about going to hell. They're not worried about God punishing them. Neither am I. Um, but neither is an anti-theist atheist, which he is. So, people do not care whether they do evil or not. That's just the whole thing. He does not care the evil that he does. He's not concerned with it because he knows that he's gonna, he, he well, I don't know, there's fear that comes, some, well, cowardice cowardice that comes from him sometimes to sit there and lies to sit there and cover things up right and um like he's doing through this video um and the, all they're doing is presenting as seeking the praises of man or the approval of man or whatever man, I say man is a mankind male and female um so um <clears throat> And they're not concerned. They, they don't believe in God. So, um, losing my... No, I don't walk around ever in, in life. Um, I've experienced God. I am a Mr. Christian. I don't walk around in life like, oh, I might lose my salvation. I don't know the argument here, but I know that there's, um, expression from him that not only is his expression, but is expressing somebody else. Uh, oh, I'm not uh, concerned about it or whatever. I know I'm going to heaven type deal. But he's actually not directly um, expressing that like literally. He makes a comparative a point um, or whatever. And I mean, it's a selfish type thing. It's like they'll continue to do either and like, oh, I'm not, you know, and that's Frank Apolito who has that attitude. Well, I know and then we win. Who cares? Or whatever. And then he continues to do his evil, um, persecuting me, slandering me, pervert our Bible, um, lie to people, deceive people or whatever. And it's like, oh yeah, well, I'm going to go to heaven anyway. That's not, you're not a believer. <laughs> that's just, a, that's just simple as that. But the thing is, they know that they don't care. So, But they're so okay with who they are in relation to who God is. No, that's not what it's about. They don't have to people please. That's, they don't. that's my whole thing. I get attacked for by all these churches, by the way, and their church. Because I'm not a people pleaser. Now, that's a little cliche. It's not a bad cliche. Don't be a people pleaser. It does not mean do not... You know, do for others or whatever. I mean, there's an extension where it's just like, to please, don't please the flesh. Please the need of the people. Now, he teaches that, 
after I teach it. But that's something. That's some there's there. There's a thing. They they went off of things because I I teach my children. Uh, uh, I actually had especially teach it to my daughter a couple times, where it's just like, you know, you can have what you need, not what you want. Especially when she's being rebellion and I'm basically uh, withholding something from her or whatever the case may be. And, like, and I said that even in front of police. She was being abusive. And I'm like, you can have anything that you need. I was just like, because I had to like boot her out. She was an adult. She was abusing me. And um, and she just wanted to sit there and just like take her thing. I was just like, mm, you didn't pay for anything. No. And of course, a lot of it was um, just... Okay, I can get into that, but the thing is, it's just like, so, um, she actually falsely called the police on me because, um, I wouldn't let her take her Harry Potter book, which I wasn't even approval of, uh, when it was given to her when she was a child, and, um, not that I'm not a person who basically would be against, like, um, reading Harry Potter, I mean, I would read Harry Potter, it's not a thing I'm into, I read, you know, um, Things that are presented as facts doesn't mean that they are facts, but, you know, or uh, orthodox or something that is established in community or what have you and things like that. I, I read, you know, um, okay, I'm going to go on. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a biblical theologian, so, you know, I read the Bible, but I'm not against, like, okay, I'm not going to be like, oh, that's Harry Potter, I'm going to read Harry Potter. No, I would. I wouldn't waste my time reading that much of a book on fantasy so um i did watch harry potter with my daughter and um it's really strange because they do have a lot of um um teachings throughout society throughout the uh, throughout history of claim i'm gonna say claimed theological teachings i just want to mind you that paganism is a perversion of truth so i actually just wrote that actually just not too long ago but um so our practices that are a perversion of truth so you know there's okay i'm gonna go i need to sit there and get into all kinds of teachings Only on everything to say everything they make everybody like them they can speak the truth in love it's a phenomenal place to be in your spiritual development and i just want to say to you that they attacked me. They attacked me for that. And now, and then he basically is teaching because I actually just do it. I'm going to put a, a post on my wall because... Oops. It's not on here. Where is it? Oh, okay. I saved it already. Um, inclusivity. I'm actually going to post it on my page. And, um... Okay. I'm actually going to post it on my page because um, it actually is very, very interesting. Oh. Alright. So, um... And he's, the thing is, I was attacked because I was not like them. Because I was not cookie cutter like them and all their false ideologies. I still will not practice or take, has taken or uh, done any of the things of their false teachings that science is victims. I will not put them on my enemies either. Not even them who did them to me. That's what they don't understand. Okay, so I'm not going to tell my enemies that now they're, I say that they're not allowed to falsely judge and I teach judging. Okay, and I teach to uh, do not prejudge, but judge rightly. Right, so um, all their abusive false rules to silence me because they were persecuting me, slander me, and mentally abusing me and harassing me and, and, slander, and slander, I don't know if I said slandering, slandering me and all these things. I have not once used all their false evil rules to silence victims against them not one time not once um so he wants to talk about loving his enemies he doesn't know what it's like to love their enemies uh love your enemies or whatever they who you whatever um but the thing is, is just think about it all all the rules that they have to refuse my rights to oppress me to all these things while they're sitting there talking love your enemies I have not placed any of their false antichrist, false rules that they even teach on themselves. So if he wants to talk about loving your enemies, he does not know what that is, by the way. And I hold the same rights and protection to all people of the Ten Commandments. Okay? Um, and he wants to deny the Ten Commandments, claiming that let people violate you and all these other things or whatever. And... It's just like, I keep Ten Commandments, and I basically keep those Ten Commandments on everybody else I encounter, 
even my enemies, no matter what they do, that they do not deserve to be sinned against. So, um, I do have a, a meme post on that that I made a number of years ago. Um, so, you know, um, I'm going to go on. Oh, my ears fall up. The self-identity piece to the integration piece, very few people reach these two phases of spiritual development. And many people think they're there, but in reality, they're not there. As a teaching, I basically spoke against them and all these churches for years, where these churches were misleading people to connect their building, their the, 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 the so-called pastor and all these things to whatever to what the church is. And how they were not leading people to God, um, but to themselves, um, as he has done. So, um, you know, he tries to speak against what I spoke against him in regards to, you know, he attacks and persecutes people who just will not worship him, will not so-called love him. He has a false idea of love. So, he basically pretends to be an opposite. Like, he basically listens to people who will correct them and, and um, you know, uh, tell them the truth and all these other things. They'll take a portion of that. And then, you know, and then he'll just be, uh, he'll completely just be against that. This is, uh, and basically then he had this book against basically people correcting people and all these other things. So, I had to post on my page, you know. Um, a wise man accepts correction, um, okay, well, actually, there's a few verses, but those who cannot accept, um, instruction, those who love knowledge, um, um, those who love knowledge accept instruction, those who, um, do not accept correction are stupid, so there's a lot of related few verses that I put with that, so. And then there comes... The last piece, and it's incarnational. It's the immersion of oneself into radical agape love and inclusive. He's a t he's copying my word radical that I use against the whole nation. And and uh, rightful terms because they were sitting there trying to stigmatize the word radical and put it on ISIS and call them like radical Islam and all this other stuff. And they were confusing the language. So I basically put on my post that I'm a radical, <laughs> um, extremist mystic, uh, Christian or something like that or whatever. So, um, changing cause, cause basically, um, radical means change. So basically I said there were, um, um, uh, irradical, um, all kinds, I, I gotta, I gotta record, I just gotta record this, because my mind is split in half trying to say this and go through this. See, when you swim out into the ocean, you get out of your group aquarium, and you trust God to lead you into the waters you've never been in, you develop such... A relationship with God and then you integrate you just you're okay with you and it leads you to this place of radical agape love and being inclusive you're inclusive with everybody doesn't mean you agree with everybody but if agreement is the peace then you're back to group identity see if you have to agree with everybody in order to really let them in then you what you're really saying is you're in group identity you're following a leader you're in a fishbowl you just don't realize you're there the fishbowl doesn't have to be a big giant church. The fishbowl could be. He's six, right on saying eight, that. 10, 12, 15 but that's people. that's what I spoke group. against him. Not in those words, though. Same principle. Very few people go on to self identity in Christ. Very few people go on to integrating their personhood into one. And even a smaller percentage of people ever go on to radical agape love. Forget the agape crap. The agape, he keeps repeating it over and over. It's basically a pagan, uh, orgy, pagan, uh, so-called love piece, perverted love. The whole book is written to encourage people to go on in their spiritual development. It was also written to make believers more aware of their position as God's children in Christ. Because that is the basis for their Christian lifestyle. See, so number one, 
Paul's trying to help them all understand, now that you've received the, sp the Spirit, I want to help you understand your position in Christ, that you're a child of God. And secondly, I want to help you understand what your responsibility is now as a child of God. That's what Paul is trying to work through. That is not true. Um, first of all, if you are of the Holy Spirit, you do not need to be taught by man, first of all. Um, the thing is, yes, there is, the thing is, when we're misled within ourselves, you can be corrected by the spirit of a person, of your brother and sister in Christ, a correction. See, Paul is not sitting there doing any such thing that he just described, okay? Because the thing is, is that, um, um, Actually, you know what, I just, I wanted, I wanted this in the beginning, but the thing is, is that, um, Paul was, this is a problem. He is reflecting the very thing that they do. They try to lead and be Lord over in their sins over the Holy Spirit. Okay. They even try to be Lord over, you know, anything that they think may be true or of God or what have you and try to exalt themselves to be like, they're going to, um, be dictator over if it's of God or not in their ignorance or sense, which they cannot do because they are not of God. So they're continuously exalting themselves over God. Now the thing is, it was Paul the arrogant person who expressed that's his that's his claim. Paul never did any such thing. The only thing Ugh, I just got a pop up. The only thing that Paul did was basically lead people back that was away from them yielding to the Holy Spirit. See, that's the only thing that Paul needs to speak to. Okay? And there was a lot of mimicry. There, a lot of th things that they're doing today throughout these churches. Okay? So, um, uh, Paul is basically speaking to their lost selves. Okay? It's cut by the Spirit. Make, hey! Seek the Spirit of God! You know? So, um, it's just like, and from another direction, because they're going away from the spirit within them. Okay, so Paul only needs to speak to, uh, to the lost soul, not the spirit. The, the, nobody needs to tell people what their responsibility and things are in the spirit. He, <laughs> Paul's not talking to the one in spirit of the believer. Okay, so how he's expressing this, now people can sit there and express things wrong, I've done it, and it comes out wrong or whatever, but this is a common, common thing with him. And then he basically tries to teach and tell people in regards to things of the Spirit. Now the thing is, you have people like this, like you don't need to teach them anything because they're of the Spirit. No, you're not. <laughs> so they want to call their flesh the Holy Spirit, their sins the Holy Spirit, this is what they were doing. So, um, in no way, say, shape, or form have any of my teachings been that of to instruct the Holy Spirit or believers of the Holy Spirit or whatever, and there's an error, you know, you sit there as a brother and sister, you leave them back to the truth, you know? So, um, it's just like, hey, you know, wrong road, oh, thanks! It's that simple. He makes it into something else that is not of God. So I'm ending with that because this is going to be near the end of my video and cut off. So.